Hi there, guys. I'm Zeon90, um, the leader of the Crimson Wolves and the Blood Wolves here on Gundam Battle Operations 2. This is a match that I played uh, about a month or two ago when the game first launched. And uh, <laughs> I can't believe I used to paint my Gundam like that. It's ridiculous. That full, bright, red-eyed crimson color right there. But uh, I wanted to start trying to provide commentary on some of these matches I'm doing. Um, give you guys some insight into the decisions I make and why I do what I do. Um, I really enjoyed playing support early on, and it's still my go-to selection for a lot of matches. And uh, the GM cannon was something that I really enjoyed using. Um, I've heard from that from Battle Operations 1. It, wasn't, it was a lot stronger back then, and it's gotten a bit nerfed in this game. Um, I personally don't have very many complaints about the suit itself. I think it's a very good all-around defensive support unit. Um, Long-range cannon, good machine gun, large shield, able to block a couple shots. And here I am making uh, mistakes I wouldn't be caught dead making anymore, and that's just standing out there in the open being a frontline fighter instead of providing covering fire. Um, there were quite a few mistakes that I, I made back when I first started playing this game. This is actually my first Gundam game. Um, I've never played a Battle Operations, and I've never played another Gundam game before this. Um, in my other two videos I've posted before this, you're seeing much better gameplay from me. Um, those were taken within, I think, the last month, whereas this was taken within the first month of the game. So there was a lot I was learning. There's a lot I'm still trying to get used to. Um, but I, I think I've improved a great deal. Trying to cover, uh, provide some covering fire. I kept shooting even though he was invincible. That's another new mistake not to make. Completely missed that shot. Oh man. This is actually my first time rewatching this in quite some time. I um, almost completely forgot I had the video clip. It's kind of, it's actually kind of nice to sometimes watch stuff like this and be able to review how you used to play games because it really, it helps you reinforce the kind of progress you've made. Um, and it helps reaffirm to me, at least personally, you know, that I have gotten better, that I've improved. Oh, good Lord. And I don't know why I used to do this all the time, but I did. I would evacuate my MS all the time. Um, it frustrates me actually going back to watch this. And of course, I'm barely hovering on the ground, so I gotta refuel my jetpack. But it was, uh, you know, I, I still could have probably walked away from that battle okay. You know, I could have maybe put up a better fight before ejecting. Um, usually these days, I don't ever leave the MS. Um, you know, I fight to the bitter end, and that's usually the best way to do it. Ejecting from the MS does have its benefits. Um, but it was... Oh, man. <laughs> I just can't believe I did it so soon like that. And it looks like I'm making my way towards the enemy base. No one sees him going there. And that's the thing about these little surf fences everywhere. Good lord. Um, probably going to try and sneak past this guy. I don't know if I could. Because I know some of these units do have the personal detection. I'm actually a big fan of going after bases in uh, very early in the match. That way, it can allow your team to play more defensively if they want to. Um, there are benefits, of course, for the increased base damage and base score for blowing up enemy bases later on in a match. But uh, I've always tried to get to them as early as possible just to give my team that point advantage. And so we can just play more defensively. See, I don't think I would play like this anymore. I don't think, uh, I don't camp really inside the, the base room. 
I try to get, you know, any of the other, and if there's like a tank or a speeder bike nearby that I can use, I'll actually try to use that. Um, simply because it's, it just makes for a much better distraction. And depending on the MS they're using, it's pretty easy to get killed. Um, if you're not paying attention. Yeah, this guy obviously did not look at the room thoroughly enough. And he's going to pay the price for it, because not only did I kill him, but I'm also going to be hijacking his MS. Which there isn't really much more of an insult you can uh, do to an enemy player than hijack their MS. <laughs> Even though I should be going down to the ground, I'm still just hovering there, because I'm between the gun and the leg. So I hijack an enemy MS, I start boosting towards the uh, the enemies from behind with an MS. I really, at this point, I wasn't really too keen on how to use this yet. I hadn't unlocked it, I think. Um, I, I, I was not very good at a lot of these MSs, and I completely missed that shot. Oh, that was a shield shot. And I wasn't trying to play very skillfully with this machine at all. I was just trying to uh, just get some hits in while I could and then eject before the uh, self-destruct went off. Oh, God, look at the way I handled that. Oh, wow. And then ejecting. Getting my team those points. Oh, no, he took it back. But it still exploded. Good stuff. The only downside to being very proactive in taking bases usually is the fact that you're going to end up handicapping your own team a lot, you know, so if it's a, and it matters a lot more on the bigger maps, of course, because you're going to have, there's a higher risk that you're going to be discovered, there's um, a greater chance your team's going to get overwhelmed, even if it is just a 1ms advantage. Um, okay, here we go, we're, we're getting rid of his ms, and I'm going in, me and one other person are going in. Oh, looks like there's three of us actually maybe maybe a third he dies i shoot that rocket assuming it kills him he d doesn't kill him i can't tell you just how nervous this made me i get a lucky knife kill in and uh i think a lot of people actually forget the knives instantly kill other infantry upon getting hit by them um i'm really shocked that bazooka blast didn't kill him and then so i think my own teammate shot me and thankfully they uh they did it far too late um, but yeah, with only seconds on the clock, I secure a victory for my team. Wow, that was a blast from the past. All right, well, thanks for joining me, and I, I hope you appreciated it. See you next time.